Well, hello there and welcome to this video on the isError function in Microsoft Excel. Uh, before we get started, if you're not familiar with uh, the if function, then I'd suggest you uh, check out uh, the video on this channel on uh, on if uh, functions because we're going to be uh, using one. Um, so if we take a look at the data here, uh, what we've got is airline profitability data from 2010 and in column F here, uh, we're looking up the name of each airline. So the original data, if you imagine this is the original data, just had the uh, carrier entity ID number in it with no names. So something that you might want to do to make the data a bit more usable is look up uh, that carrier entity um, and return the name. So that's looking up to... Uh, this tab here and just uh, looking at a list of entity IDs and returning the uh, the airline name. So that's all well and good, but as you will see, we have uh, this section here, which is bringing back an error because this entity ID here is not in that list. So it's uh, there's one missing from the list. So perhaps we want to flag that up. And that's what an is error statement basically does. It allows you to do a logical test as you would in the first part of an if statement, but uh, do a logical test for an Excel error code. So hash NA or hash value or the various other Excel error codes. So if we uh, just put the formula in here, um, so just a, an if statement and then is error here. And we're just looking at F2. So basically saying if F2 contains an error value, then just use some speech marks there. Then return error. Else if it doesn't, then don't return anything. And if we just close that bracket and press return. So if we copy that down to the bottom there, you'll see that it's blank for anything that has returned a sensible value, but uh, is error for the ones where there's an Excel error code in that cell. So that's basically what is error allows you to do. And of course, we could um, embed that in this uh, formula. So we could we could have an if statement that contained the VLOOKUP. So instead of um, having a separate column, we could have uh, the error in there. So we could do that something like this. If we uh, begin by copying this VLOOKUP and then putting the if statement in, if is error, and then we've got the uh, VLOOKUP statement there. So that's the thing we're testing. So move to the end and uh, close the uh, bracket on the as error statement. So if that is an error, maybe we put something like not on list. But if it's not an error, then we just want it to, uh, to carry out the VLOOKUP statement. So we're just pasting that VLOOKUP statement that we had copied in there. And then close the bracket on the if statement, press return, and you can see now that that's returning not on list. And copy it up to the top there. So, yeah, so that's now basically doing what we were doing before, but just in one cell. Um, so, yes, that's how is error statements work in uh, Microsoft Excel. Thanks for watching.